So today I want to talk about this Cummins situation that's been unfolding the past few weeks in regarding the potential emissions defeat device for the 2500 and 3500 Ram 6.7 liter Cummins from 2013 to 2023. When I was looking up and doing a little research on this earlier today, I just saw this new document that's just been released by Higgins and Berman. This looks to be a law firm now that they just filed a lawsuit on 1227 2023 um, against uh, Cummins and they're going to be putting a class action lawsuit together and you can kind of see the different areas they're going after and so if you've got any information I'll include this down in the link below it kind of talks about what this is all about the um, the cheating that's explained they're not giving a whole lot of information on this and they kind of just talk about the basic talking points in this but I am going to share this so that you can at least take a look at this and just see if um, if this impacts you or not and then uh, and then you can kind of go from there I also wanted to show this was another document that I saw that popped up that shows this lawsuit from the state of California that was also is being pursued at the same time. So I'll include this link below if you're part of California, if this is something you're interested in or not. And then I want to include two other things here. I'm going to go to this one first. So this is something that uh, a, the, uh, a University of California kind of looked at and they did this 20-page um, document. I kind of briefly looked over this. I kind of looked at some of the high points, but they talk about defeat devices in modern automobiles. So you're aware this isn't new. Defeat devices, I'm going to call it areas where automotive manufacturers will change certain functions during a test or it's only applicable during a certain scenario or drive condition. Manufacturers, not just Cummins, many manufacturers of automotive and commercial vehicle have been doing this for a long time. It's not a new thing. I'm going to include this document also if you want to kind of look through the details and it kind of talks about some of the tier suppliers involved in, in Volkswagen and Fiat and how this whole thing broke down and it kind of breaks it down into knocks and the different testing. If you have no experience in after treatment and the technology around emissions control devices, this is something that honestly it, it might bore you a little bit, but this will give you some good insights on what's going on behind the scenes. But it's a 20 page document. Take a look at this. Lastly, what I want to kind of show is um, on Cummins website. I think they're a wonderful company from what I've seen. They've actually made some very high performing products in the marketplace. Cummins is known and it's why they have such a great reputation with the Ram trucks is being such a high performing long term durable engine. It's a reason why when you go down the road, you see a lot of Ram pickup trucks with, you know, Ram trucks pulling fifth wheels across the country or delivering uh, vehicles on hotshot trailers. I'm sure this will all get squared away. I truly am not worried about this. How do I want to say this? I don't want to make it light. Um, it'll all come out in time. We'll learn more about this, but I don't think what has happened is out of the normal. So just keep that in mind. But anyhow, I'll include this link below, but Cummins Emission Solutions is part of the division of Cummins that is part of manufacturing and their emission control devices. So their after treatment, DPF, DOC, SCR, and technology. I'll include this link, you can kind of check it out. There's some really cool stuff, honestly. I mean, some of the different products they make between on highway, off highway, marine application, generators, it's incredible. And they're involved a lot in the future as well with uh, some of their natural gas engines, um, some of their hydrogen engines. It's, it's truly incredible. Um, but anyhow, um, as this story continues to progress, if I learn anything new, I'll be happy to share this with you. But I'll include the link for all of these documents, this uh, Hagen's and Berman's um, um, class action, and then some of this information. And you can, you can choose to make what you plan of it. I have no plans to, to get involved with this. If there's a recall on my vehicle, I'll address it. I'm sure that Cummins uh, will make this all right, but I have zero interest in, in going after any, any legal side of this thing. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.